Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Construction Simulator. Today we are continuing as Matt. We own a construction company called RCE Limited. And last time we got, oh yeah, last time we may have dropped some crates of bricks off of our lorry. But don't worry, that's not our job anymore. Our job is to leave them where they are, go back to our base, get in the sky skip truck nudge the bricks out the way nudge the pole and the car out the way and we're heading this way to pick up a skip oh look at this someone someone's just left blooming bricks everywhere what are they doing oh no oh what the frick <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting to be upside down this early in the video. Uh, question then. H how do I flip this? All right, hold on. I think I have an idea. Thankfully, over here, there's a forklift truck that isn't on its side. So we'll take this. Perhaps we can use this to flip the truck. So lift this up. Oh, no. I think it's a bit too heavy. Oh, no, no. I got it. I got it. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, and I did a little star jump when I got out of the truck. Right, okay. So as we were, we're just looking for a gap in the safety barrier so we can get back onto the road. And here we go. Like nothing ever happened. Nice. So for this job, we're heading up this country road and we're heading in here. Whoa, where did that sign go? <laughs> that is gone. <laughs> Oh, oh, there it is. Anyway, we're heading into here because we've got to pick this skip up. So we're going to go into first person. We're going to use we're going to use our mirrors to try and reverse up to this correctly. Let's check that mirror. Yeah, looks OK. All right, OK, now we'll go back to third person. Wait, why, why is the skip upside down now? <laughs> really? <laughs> anyway, let's try and pick this thing up. So we just put our arms back and then and I'm not sure what happens next. Maybe I need to flip it again. What if I give it a nudge? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and now we can raise our arms back up and it should take the skip. Nice. And then we're good to go. I'm not sure why I can't drive faster, it says. But uh, this could take a while because this is quite slow. <laughs> and let me check. I'm guessing maybe the skip isn't on properly. Is it not meant to look like that? All right, let's lower it back down and see how that is. All right, there we go. And if we try and put it back on the back again, it does just tilt like that. <laughs> this isn't my fault game. Ah, oh, right. There we go. There we go. Right. Okay, now can I drive faster? No. Ah, oh, right. I've got it. I've Got it. I've got to shorten my arm things. Can you see they're getting smaller now? Okay, game is happy. So we're heading to the harbor now. Actually, looking at the sat nav, we've sort we've gone the wrong way. So hang on, let's just spin this thing around. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. A little bit risky on the two wheels there. But we're now heading in the right direction. And oh, what is that I see on the horizon? Is that a bridge? Please say we're going across it. Please say we're going across it. While we wait for the traffic lights, let's have a look at that bridge. <gasps> you know what this means? It's time for a bridge review. It's a cable stay bridge that I don't even care that I'm running pedestrians over to get to. You can see this utilizes dual cable technology. Let's take a closer look at these. Yeah, these cables are fantastic. They're very they're very slidey to stop youths climbing up them. And obviously, this also increases a bit of safety into the design. Because say one were to get damaged, you could replace it while the one next to it does the work. Oh, and the view from the top is magnificent. You see the cross brace of this? It has the world's smallest flange. Quite an unusual shaped bit of steel, this one. And whilst it probably doesn't win any points for its looks, it probably oh no oh no oh no oh oh it is a bridge that puts efficiency first the stone foundation makes sure the piers don't get washed away whilst the bridge supports vehicular and pedestrian traffic overall i give this bridge a 7.2 out of 10 bridge review all right wow i was not expecting such a bridge in this episode so early on as well uh, one of the perks of the jobs though i guess all right let's keep going straight along here yes i'm sort of ignoring traffic rules but i am in a rush I have a skip on the back. Oh, and what do I see between the trees up there? That's like another bridge. Hey, we've just unlocked an achievement as well. Drive 10 kilometers. Do we just get 10 grand for that? So we just got a quid for every meter we traveled. Oh man, look at that bridge. Now that is a statement bridge. A bilf if ever I've seen one. But sadly, we don't have time to review it now. We've got to deliver the skip. I am sort of questioning why we're delivering a full skip as well. Anyway, here we are at the harbor. So where are we dropping this off? Hello, does anyone need a skip around here? In to the marked area. Well, there's two marked areas next to each other. Is it into this one? Yes, money in the bank. All right, so now we've got a few other contracts available. Shall we Shall we do some gardening for the Clark family? All right, so we've got to transport an excavator down there. I mean, I could just drive it, but I think it wants us to go onto the back of this trailer. So if I just go into dig mode and we do that, and then we go back into drive mode, I can then just wheel my tracks forward. 
And back into dig mode. Get some weight over the front. Can I get on? I can't quite get on. Tell you what, I could tuck my arm in. I could then spin around this way. And I can push myself on. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Back to drive mode. Oh, we're on. We're actually on. Yes. <laughs> All right, then we'll just tuck our arm in. And I think we're pretty much good. We just got to get a vehicle to transport this. So I guess we can use this truck. And why is this truck not moving? Oh, no, look at the front wheels. They're off the ground. I think we're pinned on the building. Who left this like this, eh? Anyway, after a bit of fiddling, we're free. So I'm just going to attach this trailer. Press every button, like turning my lights on and beeping my horn. Trying to get that wheel thing to go up. No, that's the trailer. Oh, there we go. There we go. So the wheel is up, which means we can get on our way to the job site oh is it literally it's literally next door okay so where are we digging this hole then guys aha over here by the front of this house okay so we'll drive this off a lot easier to get off than to get on those things and i guess from here we're just going to do a little bit of digging so dig into the ground try not to flip yourself over and i guess shove the dirt over there you're not allowed to unload here oh what <laughs> The game's enforced some gravity into my bucket. Oh, I can I can drop it just about outside. So shove it over there. A little bit more digging. A little bit more dumping of dirt. Read the instructions and realize you're not actually meant to be digging yet. We've got to go get one container from a materials trader. Okay, so back to our favorite shop. Talk to this bloke. We want one container, please. So where where is our container? Oh, is it that? Is it a skip? Oh, it's a bloody skip. Hang on. I feel like I've got a really weird run. Is that so or is that is that just normal? Maybe I run weird in real life. All right, excuse me. Sorry. And how the hell am I going to get this down there? Blimey, that's going to be a bit of tight reversing, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, it's, it's not here. It's out the back. It's out the back. All right, thankfully, we know how to use this machine now. We just do a bit of armage, a bit of that. Oh, hang on, that's not right. That's not right. All right, now it's green. Uh, come on. I just need to tip it back over. All right, what if I prong it with my fork? Oh, there you go. That was perfect. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to push it to where it needs to go. Oh, there you go, connected. Okay, apparently that is connected. So let's bring it towards us. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Let's go take this back to where we need to go. Well, I feel like that guy's like, what the hell's going on? This isn't normal. Oh, my skip just grinds against the floor. But we're now back here. And I think we've got to put this into the into the cones. Unfortunately, I've already dug a hole there. So not entirely sure how this is going to work. Oh, God. <laughs> What's happened to my skip? <laughs> anyway, just reversing up to where we need to go. All right, now shove the skip between the cones. Though it's stuck on my arm. Sorted. Now just do a bit more excavating. Am I meant to fill up the skip rather than empty it over there? Oh, no. <laughs> I meant to be excavating that marked area, not this one. <laughs> right, thankfully, I think I can just use the dirt from here. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, I think we can just use the dirt from that hole to fill up this hole that I didn't mean to dig. So drop that in there. Oh, wow. Game says we've we've completed that hole. Decent. Still, we'll tip the dirt down there. And we'll move into the next hole, which is right next to it, meaning I can still fill up my original hole. Context is quite important with that statement. There we go. Really, really get in there and dig it. Oops, I just filled it back in. And digging is hard. Oh, there you go. That's a full scoop. That is a full scoop. Pour it in there. Head over this way. Do a bit more digging. Digging, sort of in the wrong place. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so there's my holes dug. Very, very neat, Matt. You outdid yourself there. And this 10-minute job has only taken 29 minutes so far. All we've got left to do is stage two, which is two more things. Get two lumber and spruce 0.8 meters from a sawmill. What the hell are we building? All right, Skip isn't happy. Skip isn't happy. Oh, God. Anyway, we shove that on our back. And then I think that means we can drive full speed. Yeah, it does. Nice. So they still haven't cleared the bloody bricks here. What are they, what are they playing at? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There you go. I've just cleared the bricks. I cleared the bricks. <laughs> I am doing the Lord's work. Right, but yeah, that's good. That means there won't be a traffic jam when we come back. So we'll head back to this place. Oh, via the vertical sign. Can we can we catch it on our back? Ow. No. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm meant to be doing with this. I mean, this looks like if I want to get concrete, I can stand under that. If I want to drop off gravel, I shove it down that hole. That's quite cool. Maybe these areas? Let's extend the arms. Shove the skip back over here. I mean, it probably would help if it was the right way up. That's it. Give it a wiggle. Give it a wiggle. Get off my back. <laughs> <laughs> Damn skip. Right, there you go. There you go. It's off. It is off. So if we just line this up right, we should be able to flip it, I hope. Almost. Almost. Lower those backwards. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's in. Sort of. Right, now what? How do I how do I fill it up? Maybe it's not. Maybe it is actually there because that's yellow. Do these like change color depending on the mission? Maybe I've just learned something. No, 
Maybe, maybe I haven't. Oh, I don't just bring it here, do I? Because that's the skip side. Oh, I'm an idiot. Bro, why didn't you help me? You could see me struggling over there. All right, so I think what happened was this skip was meant to be filled with my, all the dirt that I just dug up. So if we just place this down here. Yes, we've leveled up. We're an average apprentice. I see what well, I was just, I was not following what was going on there. No wonder I was below average before that point. Anyway, back here, pick up our truck, do some very bad reversing, and we've got to head to the sawmill. So we're going to head this direction because we haven't gone this direction yet and it is the scenic route so we've got my two favorite things about the countryside we've got the fresh country air and we've got hairpin bends which when you're in a vehicle like this it's just what you want look at the handling of this beast oh poop right nice we're going over a dam damn that's a big dam look how tall it is whoa i was not expecting this this is awesome right now we've got a few downhill hairpin bends a little bit risky oh look at that viaduct bridge over there oh no oh no oh no oh no please please don't do this oh cock <laughs> look at my bloke he's just looking at it like hmm that doesn't look right he's also sort of doing the cristiano ronaldo arms like sweet Oh, look at the bridge. We're just about to go over. That would have been a great bridge review. How am I going to fix this? All right, can I borrow your car or your phone, mate? Please. Please. Oh my good. What is he doing in that car? Right, never mind. Never mind. That is something you've got to look out for when you drive into the countryside. Particularly countryside forest car parks. Anyway, we're going to have to sprint straight past this bridge. Look at it though. Oh, that would have been a hell of a bridge review score. But we've got to try and get to this sawmill. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? We're like in the middle of the woods. Actually, if I go directly left, if I go this direction, apparently this is where the sawmill is. So I guess we'll just go as straight as we can. Straight through these trees. Straight up this hill. Straight across this railway. And then straight down here. It looks like we have arrived. Location discovered. Nice. All right, so hopefully now we're here. If I press this button up here, someone should deliver my flatbread. Oh, no. I thought they were going to deliver it to me. It just teleported me back. No. <laughs> Oh, hang on. I think. Can I get a taxi there? Sawmill. Vehicles with trailers cannot be delivered. Okay, how do I detach my trailer again? Do I need to do it manually? Oh, I can't remember how to detach the trailer. Oh, no. I've just lifted that up. I don't think that's helping. I love how unbothered my bloke is by this. Like, he's not even squished up against the window or anything. Outriggers need to be lowered. Okay, what was that? So, keep an eye on that there. I'm going to try and remember what button it was. All right, there it goes. There it goes. The wheel is moving down. Yes, yes. Okay, we've disconnected the trailer, which means we can click on the sawmill. And for 90 95 cent or is that dollars oh it's not it was 95 quid but we're finally here okay sweet but well, i'm guessing i'm guessing you're a lumberjack here right so we want two times lumber spruce 0.8 so basically two of those please purchase i assume they're on those pallets over there so do i need to don't say you're doing this rental scheme as well oh i need to rent a blooming forklift then we can just drive over to them lower our flaps go run to the forklift oh look we've got a bit of linear drainage on the ground very nice linear drainage is typically used where there's too flood for gullies or maybe there's no edge usually like a curb or something for a standard gully anyway right let's hope we learn from last time we've just got to be careful we've got to get that on then lean back then raise oh yes this is good this is good then just shove it on the back oh did you see that i loaded that in seconds all right so now we turn around whilst lowering multitasking scoop this up wang it on there job is a good one i've literally i've literally done that perfectly in seconds so now flaps up and we're sorted we've just got to get this back without them falling out the back of the truck again uh, which means i'm definitely not taking the scenic route this time we're going through the city because those hairpins would mess me up i tell you what i'm gonna take a shortcut as well i don't want to turn too fast oh god did you see the wood in the back all right let's slow right down for this corner no you <gasps> well that was terrifying i nearly actually lost them and i literally can't believe how big this map is it's bloody huge i've been driving for ages right let's slow it down slow it down oh god there's movement in the back there's movement oh you twit you are oh, you balls you oh, come back here you twat you absolute bell end architect right he just went straight through that crossing as well could have hit someone could have killed someone how am i meant to get those back on there i can't bring a forklift truck all the way over here what am i meant to do oh what's that reset cargo oh great yeah that helped that helped cheers game what am i meant to do now right well my freshly prepared holes i think they're just freshly prepared graves i'm gonna go in here and kill myself because <laughs> 
How long have I spent on this blooming mission? Stage one took me 40 minutes. Stage two, we're approaching 20 minutes. It was meant to be an 11 minute total job. Wait, what do these buttons do? Are you sure you want to reset the cargo to your company premises? <gasps> I can do that. Oh, look, we've got the wood. We've got wood. That's what she said. <laughs> Yes, we've got wood. Yes. Construction man NATO. All right, next question is how the hell do I get it down to where I need it? All right, let's go grab this forklift that we left in the middle of nowhere. Because we did rent this fair and square. So technically we can do whatever we want with it, right? Like I'm sure it's road legal. I do want to quickly see though, with this at head height, can I... No, I drive straight through them. Okay, just checking, just checking. All right, can I be clever here? Can I grab this one, plonk it on top of that one, then lower it down... Pick up the bottom one and the top one and then drive both of them at the same time, thus saving two trips. I think I probably can. I've just got to be careful not to brake too quickly or turn too quickly or do anything too quickly. Ah, don't hit the curb. Don't hit the curb. Right, slow down, slow down. All right, so gently does it. Gently does it. We're here. We're here. Where do I take this? Transport into the marked area. Okay, got it. So the marked area is over there with the four cones. So we just got to avoid my potholes. Lean our thing forward. I can't, I can't get it off. There we go. There we go. It's off. Why is it only 50%? It says I still need another one. Do I just need to knock the top one off? Is that not counting? it's not touching it yeah there you go the bar at the top right is now filled up and then we just got to go get two fur seedlings from the nursery so i'm pretty sure the nursery is down this way so we'll pull into here oh this looks nice location discovered nursery so i'm guessing person up here you're in charge so i want to buy some fur seedlings two of those please 1200 quid bloody hell and yep you've guessed it i'm i'm renting a forklift absolute scandal but it is what it is so we'll get in this we'll head over to the furs there what are they doing on the top shelf this isn't good so I'll raise the forks up and head a bit closer push my thing in its hole steady steady no 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 oh you tit right there you go got it got it i did a backflip <laughs> Um, okay, so this is sort of what I wanted to do, I think. We've just got to head over to our truck now. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the right direction, sort of. Oh, I, I, I'm falling in love with this game. <laughs> oh, is that a castle up there? Look at that. Anyway, sorry, distracted. I should probably get on with the job at hand. Right, I've jumped out because <laughs> it seems like it's having a breakdance competition. Right, there we go, sorted. Uh, we're in a slight predicament with that though uh i might need to rent another forklift okay let's just try and do this one first so up lean back there you go it's fastened it is fastened so we can just go over here shove it on the back oh, why couldn't i do that like two minutes ago okay so that's on i just got to get the other one now now annoyingly it is still attached to the old forklift but if i sort of do a bit of that i think i freed it so hopefully am i underneath oh i can't it won't let me pick it up right got it got it got it okay it's quite precariously balanced on there oh no oh no it's not it's not happy it's just flipped out okay, let's nudge that fork truck out the way and do a bit of that bit of lean back edge i don't think it's connected where is it going oh please all right good news is it's actually facing the right direction the bottom is on the bottom the bad news is now it isn't oh no no no, no, no. Oh. Hey, look, I self-rated the other one while doing a 360. That was impressive. I gotta say, after attempting this, all new respect for forklift truck drivers. You guys are insane. How do you have the skill and patience to do this on a day-to-day -day basis? All right, I've got it. I've got it. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and just like that, we're on. So we'll get in here. We'll press X to flap the flaps up. And then we just need to drive super, super carefully. I'm not even having a laugh this time. I really, really just want to finish this blooming mission. All right, so we're sort of back. Look at the grass. I've... <laughs> I've millered that grass. But all we gotta do is we just gotta reverse into the space. And then we just raise the back up so we can tip the fir trees in, right? No. Right. right, there they go, there they go, there's one. And then the other one. Go on, what are you doing, Flap? Get down, Flap. Right, yes, yes, yes! We finished, have we finished? So now what do we do? We've we've done everything they wanted of us, right? What do we do now, game? What do, what do you want from me? This looks like a finished construction 
project to me. I honestly don't know what it wants from me. Do I just need to put all my vehicles back? So the truck's back. Let's just put the excavator back. There we go. Now what? I don't know what you want from me, game. In my professional opinion, this is exactly how a builder would leave a job if given the chance. Do I just need to get rid of the forklift truck, maybe? Yes, that's all I had to do. We're now a good apprentice. We can hire a worker. And we got 22 and a half grand. And check this out. This is the finished product. This is what we actually built while we were driving that forklift truck away. We got a garage. Oh, it's a pond. I was actually wondering what we we're digging holes for. And then all the fir trees at the front. Oh, that's nice. That's a happy ending. Do these swings swing? No, of course they don't. Right. Well, anyway, guys, finally, we finished a mission in this game. <laughs> Uh, the good news is I can finally hire an employee to do stuff for me. The bad news is we're closer to unlocking the architect missions. But I think for now, we will leave it there. I'll say peace, love, and break dancing forklift trucks. Cheers, guys. Bye.